Hi, this is Greg Tatum with Green Flow Ida. We're here in lovely Punta Gorda today and we're going to introduce to you our new Cleanzo Roof product. This is a fantastic product for cleaning your roof. There's one huge benefit with this product and that is, is that it doesn't kill vegetation. So we are going to do a test today and we're going to show you our Cleanzo Roof versus sodium hypochloride. So we've talked to a lot of you out there and we've come up with the perfect situation. We're going to mix 50-50 and we're going to use our product and we're going to spray the bushes and we're going to set up a time-lapse camera and we're going to show you what happens. All right, we're coming to the conclusion of our test. This is Greg from Green Florida. And what we have done here is we've set up a time-lapse camera. And as you saw in the part one, what we have done is sprayed the plants with the two products. And pretty much we already knew what was gonna happen with the product that was sprayed with SH. I think everybody knows that. So this wasn't more about that as much as the fact that the hydrogen peroxide cleanser roof product did extremely well. And this is very important to you. When you're out there and you're spraying these roofs and you've got a lot of vegetation that's around, you've got to be very careful. And this pretty much eliminates the problem. We don't recommend that you spray the plants directly. However, if you do, as you'll see in this test, there's not much that's going to happen. So here we have, and it's been about a week, what we have here is the plant that was shot with the SH and it's pretty much just gone. Now over here on the, on the plant that's actually sprayed with our product, you can see that we've got beautiful buds that are growing. You'll see in the time lapse that it really didn't even affect this plant. Uh, this, this particular plant here, none of the leaves are falling off. It's doing fine. So this is just a great example that you can share with your homeowners and uh, show them that, uh, in fact, our product does not kill plants. The hibiscus is one of the most sensitive plants that's on the market, and it, it didn't hurt it at all. Thanks again.